Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphen here. And today I'm gonna show you guys how to connect your outboard gear, such as a compressor, to your USB audio interface. Now this is if you wanna record a source and before it gets to your computer, you run a physical piece of gear like a compressor in your chain and then it goes to your computer with actual compression already on. Now in this video, I'm specifically gonna be referencing vocals. However, if you are recording a different source, this pretty much applies if you're using a condenser microphone, which requires 48 phantom power, what you're gonna need to do first is have a mic preamp. In my studio, I have the Studio Art V3. So I connect an XLR cable from my microphone to the input of the Studio V3. I turn on the 48 volt phantom power, which powers up my microphone. I adjust the input and output to make sure I have a pretty hot signal with a little bit of headroom where it's not clipping. Then from there, I take the output, not with an XLR cable, but with a quarter inch balanced cable. It's gonna be a male to male cable, and each side is gonna have these two black strips. Go ahead and connect this quarter inch balanced cable on the output of your mic preamp. And the other side, connect it to the input of your compressor or whatever outboard gear you're using. Then you're gonna take another quarter inch balanced cable and connect one side into the output of your compressor and then take that quarter inch and plug it into your USB audio interface. But now since we already have a mic preamp that's giving us power in the mic and it's going through the compressor and coming out from that quarter inch cable, now you're at line level so you don't require 48 phantom power from your interface. So once it's connected into the quarter inch jack, make sure that your interface is set for line level input, not 48 volt phantom power or microphone. And that's pretty much how simple it is to connect. Now throughout this chain, you're gonna wanna find the right balance and levels for your actual input. So make sure that you have a pretty hot signal coming out of your mic pre, but that has some headroom so you won't clip. And then in your compressor, you're also gonna wanna find a good balance with a hot signal, low noise floor, and without it clipping either. And then when you're in your USB audio interface, you gotta adjust that input level again to make sure that you're not getting too much noise floor but also a pretty hot signal and without it clipping either if you're interested in getting any of the gear i use such as the studio art v3 mic preamp the clark technic 76 kt compressor or the ssl2 plus audio interface i do have links in the description where you can purchase them from either bnh photo or amazon it doesn't change the price that you get it at but it does help this channel please make sure to drop a like on this video. Drop a comment below if you have any questions and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.